Okay. What did this thing do? Oh. Uh, it makes stuff cool. It makes stuff cool. Whoa. That, that's not supposed to happen. Yeah. Hey, we have five on me. This, this isn't good. You know what? It, it's fine. It's just a little wardrobe malfunction. Nothing we can't handle. Where the heck did this Corvette come from? Does, does he even have a license? <laughs> no, he does not. Well, we should probably put this somewhere safe. No, Josh, don't! With the Celsius line of all-in-one liquid coolers from Fractal Design, it's easy to stay cool. Click on the link in the description for more info. Coffee nut M&Ms, straight from Taiwan. Never had these before. Let's give it a shot. I don't taste the coffee. I do. It tastes like a regular peanut M&M. I don't know, man. Taiwan's coffee game must be weak or something, because this is a peanut M&M. Disappoint. Boy! Did you miss me? Did you miss my foot? Kiss my foot. So it is 5.30 a.m. right now. This is the morning after Wifey Sauce and I have returned from Computech, so we're still incredibly jet lagged. We both woke up at 3 a.m. this morning, could not go back to sleep. Our brains are just wired because we're still on Taiwan time, obviously. So we're headed to breakfast right now. Actually, the place doesn't even open for another 25 minutes, and I think we just rolled up for the most part. So we'll, we'll be those we'll be those people waiting out in front of the line like, can't wait for eggs and bacon. There it is, Scotty's. Ooh, what if the sushi place opens? Then can we get sushi? No. If they open at like 6 a.m., if it's like a really weird hour sushi place? No. Breakfast sushi, come on, breakfast sushi. Oh, I think I see people in there. I see them moving. We're coming for you. I bet that's Scotty. I'm gonna walk in and be like, which one of y'all go by the name of Scotty? I don't know if they'd serve us after that though. I always put them on, on the bottom oh, of the biscuits, okay. that way they get softer a little bit. Oh okay. my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. I got a breakfast quesadilla with chorizo. Heather got, uh, Veggie she, omelet she built her own. Ortega chilies, mushrooms, olives, and pepper jack cheese. Mmm, sounds good. Mine sounds better though. <laughs> chorizo wins. Uh oh. What? what is this I see? Clover honey. Devil sauce. Heather feels very strongly about the bees, how the bees are endangered and we shouldn't be eating honey because it's killing off the bees. Isn't that right, honey? Isn't this a pretty buzzworthy topic? What kind of human being are you if you eat honey and support this type of... But I mean, just the fact that this was served just with your meal. Just the fact that this was served nice. Just the fact that this was served with your meal, though. It's, it's, it's got to sting a little, right? Let's see, what time is it now? 6.46, not even 7 a.m. yet. So what do we do now? Let's go, let's go buy a drone. Can we buy a drone somewhere? So it's probably been a good six months since I really, really wanted a drone. I think I'm gonna pull the trigger on it right now. I don't know, just after the last few trips that I've gone on, Taiwan and Hawaii just before that, the whole time in my mind I was just thinking, it'd be great to get some like nice, you know, landscape footage and stuff, some aerial shots of, uh, of these awesome places that I get to visit. So I'm finally gonna do it. I'm gonna buy the Mavic Pro from DJI, very popular portable drone. I'm getting the bundle pack, has a few extra batteries, carrying case, things like that, essentials that I'll probably use uh, for $1,300, pretty steep. However, I'm writing it off as a business expense because I do plan to uh, shoot some, some potential vlog footage in the future with the drone. Maybe you'll see some of it later today if I can actually get it today. All right, let's do this. Place order. There's no going back. There's no going back. Oh God, why did I do that? If I hit back right now, will it? Oh no, no, no. It's already, it's done. I bought it. I feel very conflicted, but overall excited. I guess we can pick it up later today at the uh, New Egg Will Call, which is only about a 10, 15 minute drive from where we live. So as soon as I get the email from New Egg, then we'll, we'll head over there and maybe uh, get to play around with it in today's video. Woo! You know what I think we should do right now, honey? We should build a chair. What do you think, what do you think about that? I will take that as a definite maybe. 
So if you guys have been watching my Computex coverage that I've been posting over the last week or two, you probably noticed that one of my main sponsors for the event was Vertigear, which uh, apart from being a sponsor, they've also sent me their Trigger 350 gaming chair for review. Of course, you guys can expect a full unbiased review sometime in the very near future. So far, I've heard really good things about this chair from other tech reviewers, so I'm pretty excited to put it together. Also, if it's the right size, we might consider uh, swapping out Wifey Sauce's current chair, which is like a cheapo, you know, one that we got from Staples not too long ago. It's already falling apart. Like the staples are sticking out. That's actually not very safe either. So we might just be replacing her chair, uh, you know, after the review is all, all done and stuff um, with, with this one, which I'm kind of jealous of, honestly. If it's too comfortable, then it's it's going in my room. And you, you can, I don't know, just, just get stabbed by the staples. You'll develop a callus or something. Um, all right, let's put this thing together. All right, guys, so literally this chair took us about 45 seconds to a minute to assemble. Like, there was hardly any assembly required. The uh, the backrest was already attached to the seat, the armrests were already intact. Really, the only thing I had to do was connect the, or attach the wheels to the base, pop the rod in there, and then slap the, the rest of the chair unit on top. And that's pretty much it. And it was, it was super easy. So, um, I think, Wifey, you want to go ahead and sit in the chair, give it a first go? Give it a whirl. Oh, so much better than my other chair. You know, this chair actually looks a lot like your old chair. Except this one's like $200, and this is probably around triple price. Maybe I'll do that, incorporate that sort of comparison in my review. Guys, let me know what you think about that. But, uh, what do you think, boy? Um, I think, well, the cat already tried sitting in it. We kicked him off because he's hairy and will probably destroy the shit out of it. No cats allowed. But, uh, good job, Vertigear. This is looking pretty good so far. Can't wait to do the full review. In other news, it is about noon o'clock, and I just got an email from Newegg saying that my Mavic Pro is ready for pickup at the Will Call Center. Wanna go? Wanna go, honey? Can we go? Can we go now? Please, 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 I think I spotted someone with their new toy. What'd you get? Woo! Yeah! Let's fly this thing! All right, so it's been about four hours since I picked up the drone, and the batteries are all charged. I got three in total. I got the Fly More combo pack, so it came with uh, two additional batteries, giving me three in total, um, with a multi-charger and things like that, as well as this nice little carrying case, which is awesome. It's really, really high quality, and it also just gives you a good idea of how small the Mavic really is. Of course, the DJI Spark, uh, which recently came out, is much smaller than this, but still, I mean, this the, the Mavic has the ability to fold all of its legs so that it really just boils down to, like, the size of a water bottle, more or less, but you can just see it's about as this whole bag with three batteries and the drone itself with the controller, uh, maybe a few accessories as well, is about equal to the size of my head. The point of this is that uh, the Mavic Pro is super portable and can pretty much be taken anywhere you go, which is pretty sweet. We're heading to a nearby park right now, which has a pretty nice little lake, as well as some mountains nearby, so it should be a pretty good uh, area for us to try out the drone for the first time. Sauce says I need to shave. What do you guys think? I think I'm good. It's just part of my part of my charm is looking like I have pubes on my face from ten years ago. Triggering Heather in three, two, one. You are so annoying. Told ya! Don't squish him, I told you. Don't ever touch times. don't ever touch your Totoro. Yes, well let me see it in the camera. Him. Move your fingers. Gonna I'm just gonna cap how come you get to molest him with your whole hand? So we're gonna go get beer now. No. Wine. Wine. Because we're healthy. But you're changing your tune, now you don't want wine? Beer. How did that happen? You wanted wine like three seconds ago. Ale that's brewed with time goes with any feast. Tastes so mighty fine. 
Much better than wine. Beverages with yeast. That one. Never tried this before, but uh, you know, it's cheap. Just like me. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, just one second, please. I, I don't really want a burger, I'm fine. You don't? No. Not even a regular one? Nah, I mean I have some leftovers at home. Okay. It's not gonna be Do you good. Want fries? It's not gonna be good luck. Uh, if you get a few extra fries, like if you get maybe like a medium or something, I'll share it with you. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. Oh, oh, I want I want that. Give me that. Can I get one uh, Fruit Loop shake? Yeah. With extra onion and pickle. Oh my God, you can't have any. I don't want any. I don't like Fruit Loops. I know you want it so bad, but you know what? You just can't have it. It's gonna I be all mine. I burger so bad. You're playing uh, some reverse psychology on me right now. It's not gonna work. That shake is all mine. It is all yours. All Trust that me. is going right in here. That's my stomach, if you can't tell. Oh, okay, that's fine. She said, she said more cheaper. But you got it with the large french fry, right? Thank you. <gasps> oh my god, look at it. Look at it, it looks. Thank you, you too. It looks just like a regular vanilla shake. It's 8.02 p.m. and I'm about to try Burger King's Fruit Loop Shake for the very first time. Cheers. Oh. Oh, that is solid. What a fruitful trip that was. If this was a movie right now, I would put this scene on loop. Are you single? Because I'd love to get your serial number. You're really weird. Thank you.